Welcome to the fifth episode in this NIMBY Rail series where we are rebuilding the entire seat of the National Rail. We're going down the list in alphabetical order today is E for the East Midlands Railway. So let's get into it. So today we are starting off with the East Midlands Railway which starts all the way down at King's Cross. But fortunately for us we don't have to start there because we've got it all the way up down to Bedford so we actually start at Bedford. So what we're going to do is I am just very quickly going to add in extra platforms at King's Cross just so all of them don't use the exact same platform and as well I'm fairly sure these ones are actually on the main station not underneath the uh, whole station like this but we're just going to use something like ooh that's a bit of a sticky one but that's fine watch this oh yes just like that. I think uh, these ones will probably most likely be used if we go up that line at some point in the future. I highly doubt it. So with that said, uh, we're just going to um, ignore that section. And we're just going to bridge across everything that we see. Uh, just like this. And then, yes, this, this, this works. But you know what else works? Um, not me. I can tell you that for sure now. Now I think what we're going to do is just curve these ones into these. Something like that. I hope the trains don't crash into each other. And then we're just going to curve off this one. And then like do this. So at least we can switch into that one. Uh, I probably should have done this for this one actually, but... Oh well! So we're... Uh, do it for this one now and we'll just delete this one just like that so just gonna move this one up a little bit so it's a little bit quicker like that and then from here we're gonna go all the way up to bedford because we have no other stations to do so from here we're just going to extend the line just had to double check if i was uh, still underground or not but we're just going to bridge over this river here and there's another one just up here, which we will just very quickly bridge over. And then it appears that we're just going to be following across here. Um, and there's just uh, another river. I'm, I'm hoping most of these rivers that we come across, I don't have to bridge as much over them. But this should just come across something like this. So we're just going to go straight all the way through here. I'm just going to tunnel across most of this. Because I don't fancy uh, going through and just fixing all the that. So we're just going to bridge across all of this as well. And then come across. And I'm just going to follow this side, which I'm, I believe is where the line is. Yeah, I can see it start forming. So we're going to come across through here. And then all the way up here. And yeah, about this section here, we're going to be doing another one of these bends where we're just going to come across all of that oh but i can go across that just fine okay cool so we're just gonna shove this in probably about 200 meters ish and now what we're going to do is we're just going to very quickly link that up so now after Wellingborough, we are going to go all the way straight to kettering so we're just going to follow pretty much across Wellingborough like this so from here we're just going to continue and we're just going to pretty much come across next to this river here and we're going to start curving around and back round on ourselves over towards Kettering just here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in one platform just in here at Kettering just as simple as that. We're just going to link this up and then we're just going to follow all the way through well I hope I don't follow through because that wouldn't be great to be honest, but um, it'll be all good. So that over there would be the main line going up towards Market Habra, but very quickly we are going to be doing the line up to Corby. So what I'm going to do is in this spot right here is Corby Station. So we're just going to slip this in here and we should just pretty much follow all the way down and it won't be too long until we hit that stupid little river things hope the uh, new update of nimby rose fixes that 
and then from here we're just going to just basically cut in Ooh, I could have been done a little bit better Okay, something like that so that means the corby branch will cost 128 million but from here what we're going to do is we are going to be making our way over to market harbour so we're going to go past this little town over here so we're going to come across through here so we're just going to come across here trying to get a good angle for this like that and we're going to come through here so we're then going to come through this little gap in here and I'm just going to put this up on a bridge just so it helps with that bit and in this spot here should be I'm going to move this over a tiny bit this here should be Market Harbour and we're going to just slightly bridge over that and then link it up with the line there and then from here where we are going next will be Leicester so we're just going to come out there and start going so from here what we're going to do is we're just going to come all the way across through this section and through this tiny gap that's actually going to let me build that which I'm actually very um, confused about because normally it wouldn't let me at that kind of angle just like it won't let me go past that one but then this one's going to come straight through like this so from here we're going to end a curve exactly up like this and then from here it's pretty much a guessing game up until about here where we're going to curve like this just come over here for a sec fix that and then we are just going to be next to this whole section and we should be approaching up towards leicester as we speak now so we're going to come around something like this and we're just going to opt for the this section bit here and then just tunnel under this bit and then into Leicester like this and from here I'm just going to put this into there and I'm also going to do a little switch track into there as well just like that and from Leicester because we've done the cross country all the way up to the next station is done and we do stop at Siston and we do indeed come off the uh, joint line there. So from here, our next station will be uh, Salby or Silby. No idea which one it is, but it is just over here. So without much warning, we're just going to put in the station in this tiny little gap over here and then just link it up like this. And then just like this one, the next station will be Barrow upon Saw which is literally just over here. So we don't have that far to go. And just like the previous one, it's actually just in the tiniest bit of gaps. But I'm just going to try and put it as uh, long as possible. And I'm gonna come back and just add that into that and then just fix up the track a little bit like this. And then from here, the next station will be Loughborough Station. So we're just going to follow this little section here, a bridge across the river, and then pretty much in a straight line, we're going to have a slight curve over towards here, where over here will be Loughborough Station. So I'm just going to put in uh, two 200 meter platforms, just so it's not too bad whilst coming here at probably a later day. I'm, I can't remember which uh, lines go through here, but at least we know Loughborough Station will be at least good. And from here, we are going to just continue our way all the way. And then we're going to just bridge over this little bit here. And then come up through this section, through this town, and then through this one as well. I'm also just going to move this one back over here. So at least it's not too dodgy. And then we're going to come pretty much all the way down to here and I'm just going to uh, tunnel underneath all of them and then in this spot right here will be East Midlands Parkway just gonna shove into separate platforms here as well just like I did at Loughborough so this uh, will be two connections between the two stations and then I'm going to connect that one up but what I'm also going to do is I'm going to just do this thing as we will also be using this section so I'm just going to put in 
this little bit like that because from here we will be bridging across all of this and one of our branch lines will be going across to this side and our other branch line will be going across to the other side which i will be showing just here so we're going to come all the way across and then through up here to go towards nottingham so now we have king's cross all the way up to nottingham but not only that but we also because we have all the section bit done we also have nottingham sorry king's cross all the way up to sheffield as well so now with the nottingham and sheffield sections done we can now focus on expanding the lines so there's a little branch section from derby which goes all the way up to matlock so what we're going to do is we're going to be zooming into matlock and all the way over into here where the station is and we're just going to put in and just about here so we uh, pretty much seems we are going straight on a uh, viaduct here all the way across and this way and we're going to come all the way around and then into a matlock bath station just over here so she's gonna shove this in just about here and then in like this and our next station will be cromford which is located literally not too far because for some strange reason the station is here which is literally nowhere near where it should be but apparently it is located there no idea why but it is so i'm going to just bring that across like that and then rename the station and then from cromford what we're going to do is we are going to be just coming onto this little island section where high peak junction is and then we're going to bridge across all of this and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to say bridged all the way through across that section and we're going to come curving down and we're believe it or not going to be bridging back over just like this and from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to add in a curved station so i'm going to put in that just up there and this one across over here and then with this i can just put in the station of where it should be by expanding that and then just like this and then this station is called what stand well for some strange reason um i'm not entirely sure what stood well or if it's still standing well but we found that a uh, useful bit of knowledge um i have zero idea but we're just going to add that in like this and then we're going to just continue going along this little section which i'm hoping doesn't mean we have to bridge across another river and then the river is just here but thankfully just thankfully we can be safe and happy but what i'm gonna very quickly do is i'm just going to remove that section i'm going to have this bit on a viaduct as well and from here this station will be ambergate but what i'm also going to do is i'm just going to move the station just slightly down a bit and then also just do this so at least it's uh, where it should be really and that will come around like this and then straight over this bridge i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh make a bridge section across this so at least we don't have to make a separate line going down and that means that entire section down to derby is now complete and then with this branch line done we can focus over at crew station where we're going to pretty much just drag ourselves just off the uh, cross country main line over here i guess as well the tfw main line so from here what we're going to do is we are just going to come through this section up here come through and kind of like curve our way back across like here and from here we're going to come all the way across through oh i was very skeptical on seeing if this bit would work and it seems like it doesn't want to so we're just going to tunnel underneath it it's fine looking at that i was like Ooh, would it work and it did for a split second it had my hopes up a little bit too high uh, but this station will be uh, whatever this place is and the station will be right in this gap here 
We're gonna have to be very careful with this one because it appears it doesn't like it too much. She's gonna take out the health center. Well, it's probably not a good idea to take out the health center, but we are anyways. Uh, that didn't go to plan. There we go. And from here, we're going to continue up to Kids Grove, which is just right there. So we're just going to come through like this, and I'm guessing we just follow this. Oh, whoa, 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 no. We don't follow that one. We follow the other one, this one. There we go. And just like that, we have it up to Kids Grove. And as well, because we have this section done up to Stoke on Trent, we actually have until Stoke and Trent done. But that doesn't mean we are done because we need to complete this little bit there we're going to use this platform out so we're going to come pretty much across this section here what is that hitting this game is ridiculous on so many levels um, and then we're going to come into that one well actually we're going to come out of that one so from here what we're going to do is we are going to just completely follow this line straight through all these little gaps and in a spot just here. Actually, it's just over here, my bad. Uh, to be fair, they should make it a lot clearer where it is because it looks the exact same. And that will be Longton Station. So we're just going to take out the market. No more market for you. And we're just going to tunnel underneath that section and come back out across through here. All the way through. So from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to Pretty much oh that is very much borderline i don't like that there we go and then we should pretty much be starting to curve down through here and into the spot just here because it, it doesn't actually say it's right here but trust me when i say this it is very much here and this one will be a blythe bridge station so we're just going to do something like this and then go across the tiniest river imaginable and move that back and so it works uh, no more post office for you either and then we are just going to continue on with our journey uh, from here i generally have zero idea where to go but we're just going to wing it at this point so if if, if i see what could look like tracks i'm just going to stick it in um so i'm just going to say something like this i'm not entirely sure but one thing i am definitely sure is um that i need to be over here so uh this will do just perfectly and we're going to come around and this here is the station i'm just going to spread this as far as we can one line will not will do and i'm just going to come around like that and then that bit will come out like that so now from here what we're going to do is uh go over the tiniest river once again and then we're just going to um kind of make our way again uh but this very much seems like this is where we're meant to be going um i know from google maps that i should be crossing it over the there and now we should be around about this section here so i'm just going to do something like this very quickly and then going through to our station at tutbury and hatton so we're just going to shove this in to that little spot there and link that up just like so uh no more pharmacy e but actually it is uh top brain hatton and then from here what we're going to do is we are going to pretty much be going across through this section um and and going across even more stupid uh rivers but just like that uh we, we can just about bypass it and from here we can just see this little gap opening up for us well we're going to come across this section and then just pretty much bridge across all of this and then land ourselves up here but one uh, google maps is saying is that it's more of a curve like that because then what i'm going to do is come up to here and join with that line all the way up to derby and what we're going to do is we're going to use this platform and come up and onto this line just like that and go all the way along to nottingham where we'll be expanding the line from here but what i might do is just add in some extra bits from nottingham here 
just like that. So I'm gonna use this line just here and just pretty much get out of Nottingham as quickly as possible because I don't want to be here anymore. Um, I am scared of everyone in Nottingham now. So we're just going to follow up this line. I don't know where we're going. So basically we are going to be continuing all the way up here and in this spot just over here. But what we're gonna do is I'm just going to put that underneath the road just like so. And this station will be Carlton. And we will be just coming out of here and across like this. But here as well, uh, we are, have a separate track where in the spot here will be Netherfield Station, which would be through this section, which will also go between that side and also this side too. And now what we're going to do is we are going to be basically just following this line up through here to our next station of Carlton Joyce which will be located just in this little spot here. So I'm just going to do this and then just try and fix that as best as I can. Burton Joyce instead of Carlton Joyce, whoops. So now what we're going to do is just very much, like that is just barely going through. And then we are going to pretty much go to our next station of Meldon which is just here. So I'm just going to stick this here and be done with it. Uh, that, oh, I thought that would give us troubles, but it isn't. That's actually kind of relieving. And our next station will be up at Flaggerton, which is pretty much right here. So we're going to put this in very, very quickly, actually. Link that up, take out the CP. And then, believe it or not, our next station is right just here at Bleasby. So we're just going to oh, shove it there. Why not? I could always edit it afterwards. It's not too much of a problem. So we're just going to add in Please Be right there. So after Please Be, what we're going to do is we are just going to pretty much come round. And um, we are literally at our next station of Fiskerton, which um, generally who would have guessed that our station is right next to the uh, pretty much right next door to the other one so this one will be this uh Fiskerton instead of Morton and then who would have guessed our next station is indeed right just here and this station will be Rolston so I'm just going to shove this also a uh, beautiful 200 meters just because there's so much space around it and then the next station is pretty much as far as we're going to go at for the minute but the line does continue uh, next station will be Newark Castle. So now we're going to come off the viaduct and we're just going to come into this spot just over here. And in this spot, literally right here, is our next station of Newark Bridge. Uh, Newark Castle, sorry. I mean, pretty much same thing. And now we got the branch all the way up to Newark Castle done. We are going to bridge across that. And we're going to come as far as here and bridge across this whole section of water as well. And just like this. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to put in the station of Newark Northgate. In just here. And this will feature the line up to Lincoln as a um, basically a shuttle run. So I did press the depth button and it didn't do anything. But just like this, we are going to come in onto the main line here. This is why I just extended that section up. So at least these two stations are technically connected. So we're just going to have this like, oh, you little silly little road. Uh, just like this. And we're just going to follow this little streak of water until what about there. And we're going to cross over this road. Well, or pretty much underneath it at this point. And then come across and just in a spot here, I believe, will be our next station. So we're going to put this in something like this. And then at least have it like this. Uh, this station will be Collingham. And then we're going to come out of Collingham and instantly go underneath another road. Who would have guessed with these little roads here? 
and pretty much we're just going to come in a straight line to this section just here because this will be our next station so we're going to connect that and then oh can we get it to work uh i doubt it just gonna move this back a couple meters and hopefully it's going to work um just like that this station will be swinderby so i'm just gonna drop that down to 200 meters and then from swinderby we are going to come across through this whole section here uh it's by a single piece of river where we are going to continue coming all the way along until here and this here will be highcom station so we're going to very quickly just connect those two up and thankfully from here we have one other station to do on this line which will come across this section here and we're going to come curving round like this and over here will be lincoln station we're gonna have one platform up there i'm gonna have another platform up here so we're gonna do here we're going to bridge across something like this uh, ignore the fact that we are currently going through the uni of lincoln the game prefers it to be called a uh, university instead of train tracks along here but now that is uh, newark northgate to lincoln branch line done so now next we are going to be doing is the leicester to grimsby town which obviously leicester is here and we've now completed this bit and it goes all the way up to grimsby town which we go as far as lincoln so far so we're going to be continuing from lincoln all the way up to grimsby town which is all the way up here so from lincoln i think what the main line does is it goes underneath here and then out like that but what we're going to be doing is we'll be using the top platform so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a whole separate line through here now something just like that so i'm going to make a little track section here so at least we can swap between both tracks here so just do something like that so at least we can switch over to the other platform at lincoln because what we want to do is we want to come off the main line for the lnar and go pretty much bridging across all of this section and then what we're going to do is go pretty much all the way up direct to our next station well obviously it's going to be direct to our next station but like skipping all of these uh, stops along here so we're going to come fixing this bit all the way up to market raisin all the way up there so with that said we are going to try our best to go up there uninterrupted hopefully minus all of those silly little rivers um but i can go over that one just fine and skipping all that bit and then going all the way across and through like this and that little bit there isn't liking it but just by altering that it is fine and happy so now we're going to come uh, nearly all the way across to market raisin up here so now we are going to put in the station market raisin just between that road and that car park and then in like that so now from market reason what we're going to do is we're going to be slowly but surely uh, making our way all the way up to grimsby town so we're going to somehow make our way across i think i can make this section here work just by doing something like that dodgy i know but it works apparently we have one water hit as well so i'm just going to move that slightly over two so basically from here we need to start covering up through here and then going through all the way down this section here and from here we are going to be just finding that tiny little gap through all of this through this junction section and just here will be our next station of barnet b so we're going to take out that section and then we should be done to do that and then i'm going to just move ourselves a little bit over a little bit so it's not too bad 
So now we are going to leave this fantastic station in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And we are going to... Oh, just messed up that one a little bit. But somehow it liked it, so I'm going to keep it something like this. And you can pretty much see from here the line that we're going to be following. So we're going to be following all the way up here. Oh, would it like it? Yes, it will, just barely. And then through Brockles B Junction, uh, Haybro Junction, even though there is zero junctions here. And then I'm just going to guess that Haybro Station is here, and it is indeed here after me just checking. So I'm just going to put that like that, and then connect that up just like so. And then just like the last one, we are going to be going pretty much in a straight line. Uh, well, majority straight line because of that. And then our next station will be Stallingborough, which will be located on this side as well. So we're going to ignore that primary school. And just like this, we have another station done. And then we're going to come straight out of this station and come over it right here to healing which is um quite literally right next door you would i would say you wouldn't get this in london but pretty much you would like every town has its own station and then continuing that theme we're going to come down here and right in this spot here will be the very next station of great coats i don't know what makes the coats great but i'm sure someone will tell me and then sadly finishing off this trend of course of course but both of them are fine right so we're going to just bridge across all of that and finishing off this trend of the station being right next to each other uh, we are going to be coming into grimsby town station which is if the game will like it just here but what i might actually do is put it underground just so it is a little bit easier for me to deal with it. Now with Lesser to Grimsby done, we can now head over to Cleethorpes, which is located just up here by the promenade. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in Cleethorpes station just in a spot a little bit here next to the promenade. So we're just going to uh, rename the station very quickly. And then we are going to come all the way up and this literally will not take too long to our next station because our next station will be here and this station will be new clee and pretty much just like this the new station is new clee station is in and we're going to just put this through this little section here and then we're just going to wiggle our way through every single little bit and then we're going to just move this one down like so and down this line because this spot right here is indeed our next station of Grimsby Docks. So now we're going to just put that into there. And from here we're going to just have this go up in a tunnel all the way, all the way, well pretty much all the way up to here. I've said all the way so many times then. And up to Cleethorpes. So now we're going to go all the way over here. So from all the way back over here, what I'm going to do, just add in this section of this line, just like that. And from all the way back here as well. And then we're going to just bring this one up through here as well. And our next station will be pretty much roughly in the spot. There's nothing really to base it off by. But what I'm gonna do is I guess, do something like this I'm not too entirely sure but I'm also going to make a little curve off for that side and I'm just going to remove the junction so now from this mysterious little station we're just going to follow next door to this road all the way up to here and this little section here will be Thornton Abbey And then just in like that. And then the following station will be Gox Hill, which by the looks of it will be in this spot just here. So we're just going to put it in there and then just move this over to this spot there. And then from here, 
this will continue to go straight through here and our next station will be New Holland so what I will have to do is just basically do one of these curved stations once again and just do something like that and just take out the stores and then connect that up with there and continue down this line and our next station will be Barrow Haven which will be in this little section between here uh, this entire section will have to be above ground unfortunately because the game is just weird like that so we're going to have to do it something like that now we're just going to shoot this all the way down through to about here because this right here will be where the train terminates at Barton upon Humber so just like that we're going to link that final section bit and now we have the entire is finished like so so now that we have this weird little section up by Grimsby done we can now come all the way down to Norwich station so we're going to come all the way into this little gap over here and what we're going to do is we're going to put in one platform here another platform just in here and then just why not another platform there just very quickly rename it to Norwich and we will just come straight out of the station like this stupid game and then bridge ourselves over and then all the way to drumroll shit all of tetman although i think it's lying it is indeed lying because i'm actually going wine London first which is here so what we're going to do is we are going to be following this section and then bridging across this little bit of water you bastards why put water here and then we're going to bridge across the river once again and we're just going to say bridge so we can stay across well above all of the um little water bits uh this would also probably be a bit better if i did that with uh just bridging over everything and you wouldn't guess what we have to bridge over the river once again oh and you wouldn't guess what we have to bridge over it twice more oh and guess what we have to bridge over it again <sighs> Oh, and we have to bridge over this tiny little section. If the game will work perfectly, that would kind of be nice. Um, but unfortunately, this game doesn't work half the time as it should. But you know what? That is perfectly fine. Bastards. So now from here, we are going to just tunnel underneath the main road there. And we are going to be just following along next to this main road. And you can see it more clearly here. And then from there, we're going to curve off and go. Oh, you, you just like that a second ago. Yeah, that's what I thought you actual. <sighs> this game, it does things to me and not in a great way. And over here will be the next station of Widenham, uh, sadly. Um, oh, uh, like that, like that works perfectly fine, but it wasn't a second ago. It's so strange. But, um, how have you spelled? Oh, Wymond Ham. Okay. So now coming out of this station, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be hopefully, um, not messing up this. Uh, so we're going to come through like this. I'm just going to tunnel underneath all of that and then come across. So Spooner Row is on the Greater Anglia. So I've just quickly put that on. Um, just off camera for the minute and we are going to just continue coming straight down here into our next station of Attleborough so I'm just going to very quickly delete that one um, by the looks of it it looks like the station is on this side so we're just going to very quickly add it in no there and then we're just going to very quickly um, add this bit up there so now what we're going to do is from Attleboro, we're just going to go all the way through here and just slightly go off course a little bit. But through here, our next station will be right here, which will be Eccles Road. Uh, they really named it after a road and not the fact that the town is actually called Eccles, but you know what I mean. To each their own, I guess. 
uh, I will also need to be moving this back a little bit because the yeah, game doesn't like that. Uh, there, we, there we go. No, it's, the game still doesn't like it. There we go. Got it in the end. So what I'm going to do is we're going to come across this little gap through here. And I guess what we're going to do is just come through here. So we're going to just put that back. And then we're just going to come all the way through like this to our next station of Harling Road, which I believe is just in a spot over here. So we're just going to put in the, uh, the, the station just right here. Uh, maybe not 300 meters long. That would probably be nice. And just like this, we're going to stick in Harling, Harling Road Station. All right, so after Harling Road, what we're going to do is we are going to just come out and basically this oh well, never mind i was just gonna say this looks like it's going to take a little bit of time but uh well i mean like a little bit of time trying to figure out where it goes but i can see it quite clearly on the map where it goes so are oh, you smelly little game so it's going to tunnel underneath this little bit because the roads don't like it and i'm just going to come pretty much dropping all the way down through this little section here and then tunneling under this one too and then here is our next station of tetford so we're just gonna stick this in just like so and just quickly rename the station and then just after this we are going to continue along to our next station of brandon they were very very uh inventive with the name as you can tell because i'm probably guessing there was a guy who uh, founded the place called Brandon. Um, but that's just my guess. Uh, and that will be just up across here. Basically across this curve. And you can just see it popping up in the distance over here. And this station will be Brandon Station. As I said, very inventive. Very, like, extraordinary name. Um, please uh, get original thanks. So we're going to continue up through like this section where we're going to then just drop down here and across the river there and then we're going to continue coming straight through uh lake and heath station here we are not stopping at because it is a part of the greater anglia and we're just going to continue going all the way down here through shippy hill which is also a greater anglia station so we will not be stopping there we also have a road here so i'm just going to come back just to move that over slightly just like so so now from here what i'm going to do is we are just going to bridge over this section here and then it just appears that we are going to be coming uh, if the game works if the game works uh, turning under this and then coming all the way across there and then through this little gap here then i'm just going to bridge across everything here and then start curving into the main line here and then into Eli station and then we're going to bounce back out of Eli up to Peterborough and then from Peterborough we are going to we're not going to curve off here towards Spalding but we are indeed going to curve off over here uh, towards Grantham station so we're just going to do this for now so just following something like so And then just in this spot right here will be Grantham Station. So I'm just going to very quickly just do something like this. Just move us over a tiny bit so we can actually use the station. And just move ourselves over just something like this. And into Grantham Station like that. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to just somehow sneak our way across that. And we're going to curve off that section of track and pretty much all the way across through up here because our next station will be Botsford which we are fast approaching and the station will probably be 
right here. So I'm just going to delete that one. And then we're just going to put in the station just in this spot here. So this station will be Botsford. And then we're just going to link them two up. And then from Botsford, what we're going to do is we are just going to come around and we're literally just going around the corner. I mean, for EMR, who would have guessed? And this lonely station over here will be our next station. It is Elton and Austin. So now we're just going to very quickly link these two up. And then from here, next station will be just across the river from us. So we're just going to bridge across the river. And then in this spot, just down here, will be our next station of a Stockton. And we're just going to curve in like that. Or, or a Slockton, actually. And then after that, our next station is also just up here. And this station will be Bingham. So the station will be just in the spot here. And we're just going to change the name. And then just put ourselves into it. And from here, the next station will be Radcliffe which you pretty much guessed it, isn't too far either. So this will just continue going across like that. And the station will be just here. So then we're just going to curve that up like that. And just turn that down to Redcliffe. And from here, our next station will be Netherfield, which we obviously built in not too long ago, but it is just over towards here and like that. So now we have this line up to Nottingham. We also now have it going all the way up to Sheffield as well. But from Sheffield, we have to manage our way to Manchester Piccadilly and Liverpool Lime Street. So now we are in Sheffield and our next station, well, our first station after Sheffield will be Door and Totley. So what we're going to do is we are just going to put in our beautiful little station just in this spot here. We're just going to try our best to fit it. I think 175 meters will probably be the best uh, size to do this. So then I'm just going to put that in through there and do something like this. And this will be Door and Totley. So now we're just going to come straight zooming through like this area. And then it appears we are going inside of a tunnel. And we're going to be under a tunnel all the way through this section here. Where it is very convenient because right here will be our next station. So this would curve up that way and this would go into the tunnel. So I'm just going to put the tunnel in somewhere about there. And this station will be Grindelford. So now from Grindelford, what we're going to do is we are going to just move our way up. And something curving around here and then over here will be our next station of Huddersage. So we're just going to connect these two up and then we're just going to go straight. Oh, we all take in the bits. And then we're just going to come straight all the way up here to our next station of Bamford, which is right here. And that will just be perfect enough for us to do that. But I'm just going to move that back so at least there isn't a kink in this there. So this will be Bamford Station. And I'm going to come out and then bridge. Oh no, I'm not even going to bridge. I was just about to bridge over it. So we're going to come through here. And I'm going to curve up this section. And then right here will be our station. So then we're just going to very quickly link them. And this station will be Hope. So from here, we are just going to pretty much come up through here. So we're just going to come to the side of it. And then we're just going to come round. And basically what we're going to do is we are going to be silly little roads. So we're going to come across down like this section, just across here. And then we are going to go to our next station, which is just over here. And this will be Edale Station, just like there and we're just going to connect these two up so from edale we are going to go to our next station of chinley so we're just going to try our best to get all the way down there but we might have to bridge over this little stupid little thing first and basically it's just 
one straight line pretty much so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to move this up there and then we're going to come around and then up here and just come around for chinley station which would be located right here so that is very easy to get to just like that so now we are just going to oh you fucking bastard you follow our way up to new mills which is located all the way up here so we're just going to try our best to avoid all of them and this section here will be the northern which we will uh, get to at some point but we will be curving off here and going on into a tunnel underneath all of these roads because i just know for a fact it's not going to like it and then we are going to be fast approaching our next station at hazel grove so i'm going to go into a tunnel and pretty much just all the way through up to here and we're going to come out and go into another tunnel just under this small little road and we're just going to curve just like this and into hazel grove station up here so it's very quickly we name that to hazel grove where the main line will just follow that but we will just come in like this which is what i'm actually going to do is just make it like that and now whilst we're at hazel grove we are going to just continue our line up through here through woodsmall which we will not be stopping at and same with davenport and then we are going to just come down this little line and we'll be curving onto the manchester piccadilly line through stockport where we will be stopping heaton chapel we will not be and it will be going into manchester piccadilly so just for simplicity what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in this station right here which will be our next one which will be manchester oxford uh oxford road i'm fairly sure and what we're going to do is we're just going to instantly go into a tunnel so what we're going to do is we're going to just use a brand new platform at manchester piccadilly because i'm lazy and kind of want to just going to put that over there and we're also going to just put this over here whilst i just move this pretty much over towards here and basically something like this and then that will just run along all of this and then it will just be like that so at least that will be just fine and then this here will just link up and into manchester oxford road so from deansgate what we're going to do is we are just going to bridge across all of this section here and then come down onto the floor now our next station isn't for another while so we are going to go past quite a fair few stations uh, trafford park being one of them but firstly we will have to bridge across this and into trafford park and then these stations won't be too far uh, away from each other so we're just going to put in humphreys uh humphrey park and then Elmston, and chasten road and flixton i believe our station is next and it will be so we're going to just bridge across this river and we come all the way down to erlam station so we're just going to place this in this spot here and just remove that section and then we will be stopping here and it will be one of two stations we'll be stopping at along this section have to have that there just so it works so that's actually in its wrong position there so i will just go back and try fix this because it should be there so now this will come all the way across that and i'm actually kind of surprising that's actually working like that so we're going to go beside Padgate and we're going to curve down this way and then into Warrington Central which is the second station we'll be stopping at. So we're just going to be curving up. Is there a possibility I could do that? No, that is fine. Um, I am also going to try to see if I could put that through like this and just like that. And then from Warrington Central, we will be skipping pretty much every single stop. Uh, to save this bit, we're just going to bridge completely above 
uh, both that road that was giving issues and also that section. I can't go across there, so we're just going to tunnel across this section too and then come all the way towards Rockington West. We're going to come just along beside the station and basically we're just going to skip each station if humanly possible. So we're just going to tunnel under this. So now we're going to come just all the way down and I had a feeling that one also wouldn't work so we're just going to put that in and do something like this. And then sadly we have to come through this station it seems, but that is okay. I also appears, oh no, I can just skip past this one too. Pretty much barely, but it will work. So I'm just going to move that slightly down just so there's a little bit more space. And then we're just going to come, what is it hitting? Oh my, the smallest bit of river. That literally the tiniest dog. A literal small dog can get past that. But now we are approaching Hunts Cross and we will just come into there. I've already done this section already. A Liverpool South Parkway is in the wrong position because the actual station's up here. But I've put it down here to make it as one station. So we've just so I've just built this little line so at least we can go into it and go up to Liverpool Lime Street. But what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to make a branch off this. So trains can come all the way into different platforms if needed. And I'm just going to do something like this too. And this one's just going to come in something like this. And this one also will just come all the way across like so. Now seeing as we have all of them done, we can now focus on getting our, not final branch done, but one of our final ones done. Oh, I don't understand why we're in the ground, but sure. Uh, we will be curving off the uh, mainline for cross country and um, the East Midlands Railway. Kind of forgot what I was building for a second then. But we're going to come across all the way through here. Uh, our next station will be Bullwell, which is <clears throat> still quite far way away so we're just going to continue going up this line as far far as we can so we're just going to so with this said we're just going to continue all the way around so we're going to curve around here and into Bullwell station here so we're going to put it in just here oh I might have made that a little bit too close but we're just going to extend this along and go into the station. So then we're just going to do that. And to be fair, I think I've actually put it a little bit too close up there. So I'm just going to fuck off, fly, move that down a little bit and try fix this by putting it there. And yeah, that will do. So we're just going to continue following this line past this little tram stop which we will not be touching at all until maybe a possible future date but here will be our next station of Hucknall so we're just going to put in the station just here and then just link these two up quickly rename this and now we are pretty much going to go away from the tram systems and finally get out of Nottingham so we're going to continue up and we are going to come into Newstead Station just over here. This little village of apparently 1.4 thousand people. Wow. Um, so we're just going to do something like that. So now we are just going to kind of come around here. And we're going to... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not getting my way with that one. And we're just going to somehow, somehow, end up at the next station of Kirkby in Ashfield. So we're just going to just quite gently put ourselves into the station there. And just um, rename it, of course, as per usual. And now from here, what I'm going to do is we are just basically squiggling about. So we move left and then we just move sharp um, right as well into Sutton 
parkway where I'm just going to make a little curved station. So we're just going to delete this and just try move this as far back as we can and then put this in somewhere around about there. So now I can just delete this and put this bit on a viaduct across all of that. Oh no, we're not even going that way because we're actually going this way. Um, this is what I mean by we are literally squiggling about the place because that is quite literally what we are doing. Uh, we are literally going left, right, left, right all over the place before we're doing a very sharp right where I can't actually cross that road. And from here our next station will be Man's Field. I don't know whose field it is but apparently it's a man's. Um, am I going to get my way with this one? Yes I am. Just like how I'm about to get my way with this man. So we're just going to pretty much put ourselves all the way over, oh we're still on curve tracks, into Mansfield Station in here. Am I going to get my way with that? Yes I am. And we are going to leave Mansfield into a beautiful little tunnel just all the way through all of this section here. Where we'll, we will come out and come into Mansfield Woodhouse Station. How appropriately named, we're coming out of a tunnel and there is wood involved. How brilliant. But with that said, we are going to come all the way up here. Uh, that, that, this, this will not work. Uh, maybe if I uh, didn't intentionally go for the little bit of water that was there. And instead moved up towards our station of Shirebrook or Shearbrook. Depends on where you were from. So we're just going to curve that round something like that. So now we are going to come through and we're just going to opt for the middle one because in life it's always best to go for the middle option. And we're just going to come all the way across, all the way up to here to... Can you guess the station name? No, I bet you can't. It's Lang... Langwith? Whaley Thorns. Um, never heard of that plant in my life, but hey, sure, whatever floats ever anyone's boats, I guess. Um, and we're just going to continue. Now our next station will be Cresswell, which will be right over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock down that COV school, and just like that we have the station name just in there. I'm just going to move this slightly over a bit. So now we're going to curve round. The next station will be Whitwell, which is um, right here. Um, if it's in the middle of fucking nowhere, then how do they know it's Litwell? If it's, you know, makes no sense. So now from here, we are just going to go pretty much in a straight line. Unlike your mother, she confessed this to me last night. Uh, cry about it, pussy. So what we're going to do is we are going to, oh pussy, that is what she ate. Uh, we're going to come straight, zooming all the way down here, uh, un into this little bit here. Bastards. And just in this spot over here will be our final destination for this branch. Sadly, not the final destination for this episode, because we still have a couple more lines to do out of Nottingham, including the... Uh, Doncaster to, to Peterborough line. Anyways, uh, we are now done with workshop. Um, just like me, I am also working very hard and getting this fucking done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the Nottingham to Skegness line, which is located all the way up here. But luckily for us, we don't have to do all of that because we are going to Grantham first. I don't know why they're granting ham in Grantham, but that isn't my concern. That was the word. So we're going to go all the way down to Allington Junction and we're going to up to Curve Otter Track here. So we're going to just come up all the way through here. So we're just going to kind of make our way up around there 
and we're just going to kind of guess where about we're going uh, for like the 600th time this episode because to be quite honest um, the EMR follows every single little village in the world so we're just going to um, but the first station we'll be stopping at will be Ancaster station which is located between both of these um, roads here so we're just going to uh, do something like this maybe even do something like that and then from here we're going to come round so what we're going to do is we are going to come past Waterloo Farm I uh, don't know why they called that Waterloo Farm considering that uh, Waterloo is um, all the way over here but you know what that's none of my concern so I'm just going to come around something like this oh no what a shame I can't put that there now it's also what she your, your mother told me last night she was like no can't put it in that hole but you can put it in the other hole um don't know what you're thinking I was talking about the money pot um I tried putting the 5p in the 10p hole and she she wasn't having any of it and she's like ah right I'm putting it in the wrong penny drawer I'm like ah cool I get you now um anyways the next station will be uh Rossby which is located uh, right here which um is quite interesting and um what I quite find interesting about this one is um it's by grey leaves don't know why the leaves are grey but hey they must be dead I also totally didn't spell it wrong but uh, it's all the way over here so I don't exactly know why it's being advertised as that but you know what next station uh, will be Sleaford so we're going to just tunnel under that and we will be making our way over to Sleaford, which, believe it or not, is right here. I don't know why a sleeve has a third, but you know what? I'm not going to question it at this point. So we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to just follow the line. So we're going to use this line up here. And we're going to come all the way down here. And we are literally going to come in a straight line all the way. Oh, your mother. So we're going to uh, tunnel under that one. And we are going to come into Heckington Windmill. To be fair, I don't pref I, I prefer Warburton's over King's Mill, but you know what? Um, everyone has their bread preferences. So Heckington can get to Heckington and f heck the fucking Heckington out of here. So from here, what I'm going to do once again, guys, can you believe it or not? Uh, we're, we're just going to go wherever we feel like it at this point. Uh, oh, no, never mind. I can kind of see where we're going. Never mind, don't need to. Um, and it appears we're going to be uh, going up from here and to the next station of Swan's Head. Um, I don't know why a Swan's Head is here or why it's that there's a bridge called Swan's Head. Um, but somehow uh, they must have a lot of swine farms here. Um, swans being pigs. Um, coincidentally, I heard your mother is in that farm. So now we're going to just come around this bend. Uh, it's not the first person to go around a bend uh, this month. Uh, I heard your mother was actually one of the people that went around a bend. A uh, bend of a penis. But you know what? Uh, that is Hubbard's Bridge Station done. And we're just going to continue going all the way down. So we're going to go underneath this high bridge, uh, allegedly. Uh, we're going to go past Cox, uh, sorry, Cook's Lock or Cox Luke. Look, fuck, shit, penis, mess it up. Uh, we're going to come around this bend, and this bend, and we are going to come, speaking about of after Cox look, but fair enough, uh, we're going to come into Boston, just like this. So now from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to go up onto a little bridge, and we're gonna, going to just do something like this. To be like, oh yes, bridge. Uh, we, 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 we are bridge. Bridging the gap across um, something, I guess. Uh, and from here, pretty much, According to Google Maps, uh, we are going in a literal straight line, which for the first time, I think I'm actually happy with this game uh, being in a straight line. And apparently we're going in exactly straight line all the way up to here, but I doubt it. But you know what? I'm just going to try go in a straight line as far as humanly possible. Um, unfortunately, can't do it there. But from there, I will try my best to go as far as I can. Oh yeah, look, that's literally the line there. Damn, 
I, w I am very pro at sticking to line. Oh yeah, you, you see, look, 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 here, 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 here. That's where I intersect, yes. Oh yeah, because that one's slightly off. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Maybe we are going in a straight line, you know. It would be nice if the uh, straight line was kind of like not going in between the roads, because that would kind of be nice. Um, like it generally would kind of be nice. But uh, unfortunately, it's not. So. Oh, river. I'll make your mum look like a river in a fucking minute if you give me another. Oh, your mum is actually turning into a river. So now I'm going to Google Maps. We are going to go as far as up here and uh, loop back on ourselves. And our next station is just fast approaching because it is right here at Thorpe Culvert. Um, I don't understand why they call this Thorpe Culvert because um, Thorpe Park is nowhere near. If you look on a map, uh, we're there and a Thorpe Park is, believe it or not, all the way over here. So, um, nice naming, my friends. Uh, but without further ado, we're just going to cross that river. We are just going to come all the way through to our next station at Wainfleet, which is just in the perfect position for a game like uh, NIMBY Rails, which have um, these stations and the little tracks that uh, extend on there. So now from here, we are just going to come up like this and we're gonna come over here and into this little slot here for a station called Haven House. I generally did not know Haven had a house um, and I also don't understand what Valorant has to do with this area but you know what um, to each their own. And with that said um, I think I need to actually move the station over a bit like that oh yeah stick it over the road yes let's make sure the cars can't go past um and from here it should be pretty much as simple as abz um Skegness station being over here um in my opinion if i was the town name organizer i would have just called this skankness but everyone has their own opinions and now with the nottingham to Skegness line done we can finally look forward to our final line and it is the Doncaster to Peterborough line so we're just going to go zooming all the way over to Doncaster station over here and we're just going to shove in one platform over here another station over here another over here and you know what sure they can have a fourth platform too because why not um, I also love WH Smith station so amazing and we're just going to just we're going to use this line for now oh no no! How dare you put that past a junction underneath a roundabout there. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to pretty much make our... Oh yeah, I definitely did not follow that. Uh, just something like this. And um, we're just going to go... Oh, that says Childers Drain Bridge. I thought that said something else which was very, very dodgy. Um... But what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, tunnel underneath all of this. And we're going to go cry ourselves to sleep because this game makes me want to cry. Um, and now we're going to come curving down here through the bushes. Uh, I also went through a lot of bushes to get to um, your mother's house because she lives in the middle of a forest for some strange reason don't know why she does but you know if she likes that then fair enough to her but on that note i'm going to just continue coming straight all the way down here and look at this a fucking river oh with that being said river we're going to come down here and one of our few stations it's located just here. Can you guess what station it is? <sighs> no, you're wrong. It, it, it's not Benjamin Adlard Community Primary School. No, it's Gainsborough Lee Road. And we are just going to come like this. And then we are just going to follow this line all the way down to our next station of Saxelby. 
which um trust me it's coming up it's it's around this bend uh trust me uh source uh trust me e kitten and it should be right here uh and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to put this onto a bridge and that was a fantastic idea by me um congratulations to me for winning the uh best idea award of uh 2029 who would have thought nuking nimby rails was such a fantastic idea um anyways the next station will be lincoln yay uh on a serious note oh actually lincoln's just around the corner i had zero idea where it was but it's right down here so i don't have to cry that much um actually i don't know why i'm doing that when i could just link it up with that mm, if my fucking control button would work that would be nice you bastard so now with that removed we can just do that and come straight into lincoln so now what i'm gonna do is have this just come like this and we're just going to do that so at least we can use this top and come through lincoln down so now from here is basically just not a guessing game but like um well actually it is a guessing game it's how long until i have to manually tunnel under something and uh that game is already over it seems uh next station will be meth meth ringham if i can say it right so we're just going to come all the way down here so now so we're going to cross that road cross this road and then we get okay that didn't build and we're going to get to our next station of the build which is Methringham. so we're going to take that out and hopefully just hopefully um i can get some meth from Methringham. Uh, but with that being said i don't tell anyone and we're going to come straight down here to, uh, right next one is ruskington which is there ruskington rusking 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 ruskington so here we're going to come pretty much just following the same path as uh before through dorrington and over here to ruskington and the station for ruskington will be just here and apparently lakeview Ooh, wow where's the fucking lake then i call bullshit i am suing anyways from here i guess we're we're going to like from here we are finally slowly but surely getting to the end so we're going to come straight across here through galley hill and we're going to come all the way along here onto Sleaford. So now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come across this top part of the river there. And basically we're going to play our favorite game of the guessing game. Um, if you're not familiar with what this game is, it's um, just guessing where we're going. Um, today's episode is um, through this entire area here. It appears that I could potentially be going through this section here and just across this section here. So now for the minute, we're just going to uh, continue coming down here. And I'm going to just come to about here because Google Maps says it goes through that section. So I'm just going to link uh, what I have now up with this. So now we can come through Wales. Even though I'm nowhere near Wales, but you know what? Sure. And then we can come round this bend. And then into Spalding Station just here. So this will then curve straight into the station. And apparently we have one water or road hit by that tunnel. So that is now fixed. Now, according to Google Maps, once again, um, they are saying... It is quite literally a straight line to Peterborough, which will be our final destination. Finally. Been waiting for the days. So we're just going to um, quite literally go as pretty much in a straight line as possible, even with my dodgy eyes. Um, so we're just going to bridge over that. And 
ton of wonder this. Uh. Oh, can I get both? Yes, I can. No, I, uh, 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 there's a third one. Hang on, it's fine. It's very tight now. Um. Oh, what, you was expecting a your mum joke? Grow the fuck up. Why would I make a tight joke about your mother? She isn't tight. Uh, speaking of tight, we're coming round this tight bend here. And onto the Peterborough line there. And now that is officially it for the East Midlands Railway. We've now completed, well, we've not completed just yet, but we have built all the lines. So it's time to build all blueprints and do all the services. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a brand new line called EMR. And then we're going to put uh, King's Cross or, or like London to Corby. Of a base price of 0.5 and 0.5. So we're going to paste in the hex code for the East Midlands Railway. I'm going to start off with doing the train line. So we're going to zoom in all the way over to King's Cross, just using the opposite side of the station. And this stops at King's Cross, Luton Airport Parkway, Luton, Bedford, oh dear, Wellingborough. Kettering and Corby. So this one's not exactly a long route, but is indeed along the main line. I'm going to put it through Bedford and the two Lutons. This line is a train every 30 minutes. So I'm going to shove a class 350 on it. Put on one for now. And I'm going to put on three different trains to make it pretty much as close enough to every half an hour. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone the line. Passenger service. And do this one up to Nottingham. So we're just going to take out Corby from the equation. We are also going to take out Luton, Bedford. Just basically every station which isn't Kettering for now. So Kettering, Market Harbour, Leicester. Loughborough, East Midland Parkway, Beeston, and Nottingham. So this one's going to bounce back and just stop at every single one of these stops here. And Leicester, Market, Harborough, and Kettering. This one is also a train every half an hour, so I'm just going to put in two extras and a train every 35 minutes will do. Then I'm going to clone this line because it's going to London to Sheffield. So Market, Harbour and Kettering are not going to be stopped. I'm going to come down to East Midlands Parkway and I'm going to use the other platform there. And then I'm going to take off these ones, Market, Harbour and Kettering, and then come back and use the other platform. So our next station will be Long Eaton. Um, no thanks. Now I'm going to quickly hop in advanced mode so I can use that line. Oopsies, I've done something else. Then Derby. Oops. Chesterfield. And finally, Sheffield. Then back to Chesterfield. Derby. Long Eaton, East Midlands Parkway, and all the way down through there. Now, there should also be a train every half an hour, so I'm just going to add in an extra train, and an extra train, and an extra train for a train every 31 minutes, which is pretty much closer than what we had before. So now what we're going to do is we are going to do the Nottingham to a Mac clock service. which starts all the way up in a matlock. So pretty much it's going to just serve every single stop that's along this line. So we're gonna shove it in 3S here and just all the way along here and then up to Nottingham here. And I'm just gonna shove it in that separate platform. And then we're just going to go along through and try get this done. So it skips them two because they are not our stops. 
Turns out they are on stomp, so I'm just going to go back and add them in. I'm going to go down to Ambergate and just add these two in. So I'll be going into Duffield. And then before Ambergate, we are going through Duffield and Belper. So what we're going to do is we are going to use the Class 170s because that is the original line. And basically, we need a train every hour, but, you know, for every 45 minutes is closer to an hour than every one and a half. So we're going to use that just like that. And then for the next one, it will be the Crew to Newark line. So we're going to go all the way over to Crew. And we're going to stop at Al Cigar and Stoke on Trent, Longton. So basically, all of the stops along here. And our next station will be Derby. So we're going to then go along there to these two stations here. And then we're going to follow this entire line up to Newark, which won't take too long at all and just like that we are at Newark Castle so now we're just going to bounce back the line just like so and just like that we are back at Newark now just like before this line is every um, hour so an hour two minutes will do so now what we are going to do is we're going to do the leicester to lincoln service so we're going to go all the way over to leicester so we're going to use this platform all the way over here stop at Siston, sarby barrow upon saw loughborough east midlands parkway nottingham and then up this line here, so we're going to be stopping at all stops to Grimsby Town, uh, Lincoln, sorry. See other service afterwards, which goes all the way to Grimsby. So we're going to go all the way back down the line. And into Leicester we go. Now this line is once every two hours, but I'm just going to shove on two trains just to break that little cycle. Um, afterwards now, we are going to clone this line because we are going to Grimsby Town as I accidentally slipped up earlier. So Lincoln, I'm going to take off and then use this line to go all stations up to Grimsby. And just like that, that line will be done. So now I'm just going to shove in two trains, which is exactly one train every two hours. So now what we are going to do is the Newark to Lincoln service. So just following the exact same settings as all the others. We're going to start off at Northgate and we're just going to go along with every stop to Lincoln. And then just coming back down the line like this to Newark. Now this line is five trains per day, but I'm just going to shove one train, which will go every 40 minutes. So now what we are going to do is the Nottingham to Skegness service. So we're going to start off over here and we're going to come off the line here. And I'm just going to go all stops all the way down this line. So it goes into Grantham, then it will come back out and up to Ancaster, uh, Rawsby and Sleaford. And then go along this line to Skegness. Just like that. And then we're going to stop at all stations coming back down the line as well. We're going to come back into Grantham and come straight back out. And then back into Nottingham. So now this line is meant to be once every hour. So with three trains, it is once every hour. And now the next one will be 
Nottingham to Worksop. And now we're going to start off at Worksop and go down all stations to Nottingham, which won't take too long. And then comes into the middle platform here at Nottingham and get to send all the way up the line just like this. And this one is a train every hour, which I'm just going to put into just so it's just under that. And now it is the Peterborough to Lincoln service. So we're gonna come all the way down and start off at Peterborough. And then we're gonna come down this line and go all stations up this line. So Spalding, Sleaford, Ruskington, Metheringham and Lincoln. And now we're just going to bounce back on ourselves here. Just for the few stops that we do have on this line. Now this line should be every hour. So two will put us to every 50 minutes, which is pretty much close enough. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to clone this line because this one is going to Doncaster instead. So we're going to have to go to Lincoln and pretty much get rid of Lincoln, put in the other platform put in the other platform over here and come up this one for the two extra stops and to terminate at Doncaster there but simple enough just added these two and Lincoln's platform there and that is done I'm just going to put in two trades on that too which makes it every one hour 80 minutes so now what I'm going to do is the Barton to Cleethorpe's branch and then I'll do the long one. And then we're going to finish off with the really long service. So we're going to do from Cleethorpes through Grimsby. Up this branch here. And then that's like turn all the way to Barton. And then it's just going to come back on itself. Back on the main. Well, it's not really the main line, but at least the main line for this area. And come down to Cleethorpes there. This train is one every two hours but if we put on one train it is every one hour 14 and i'm not going to stop that from doing it but now to finalize the east midlands railway we're going to do a liverpool to sheffield service so we're going to start all the way over at liverpool lime street using that platform and then we are going to come all the way down to liverpool south parkway and skip across these stations Stop at Widnes, then Warrington Central, and come along all of these stations here. We're actually going to only stop at Erlam, actually. We're going to skip all of them, apart from Manchester Oxford Road and Manchester Piccadilly. Then stopping at Stockport, then Hazel Grove, then skipping all stations. Then Chinley, Edale, Hope, basically all of these stations you see along here. And then up to Sheffield through there. And now we're just going to bounce our way back through here. The main reason why I'm doing the Liverpool to Sheffield instead of the Liverpool to Norwich is because on Nimby Rails it's just so much easier to um, put it in like this. And as well it's just so much um issues and there's so many um ways for the train lines to break as well so coming to the final stops here and now i'm going to put in two trains to begin with i'm just going to add in another one to make it as close enough to every hour as possible so now i'm going to go back over to sheffield and create a brand new service for sheffield to norwich i'm going to I'm going to use a 5S here and then we're going to just have an all stations train going all the way down a Duffield we're also going to put this into Derby here Spondon East Orton I finished uh, Long Eaton sorry Nottingham and down this line here and this will mean we go further than Grantham 
and we fly all the way straight down to Peterborough and down at Whittlesea, march, skipping Mania there, into Eli, and then stopping at all of these stations across here, all the way down to Norwich. Uh, skipping Spooner Road, that is the only stop we skip along here because that is for Greater Anglia. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to go, no, go back down the line, all the way back to Sheffield. So now we're going to just add in one and oh my gosh there's going to be a lot of trains here. And just like that we have a train every hour and that means we officially have every single um, line on the EMR completed and scheduled along this. So now what we only need to do now is skip 24 hours to see how much money the EMR makes. So now that it's been officially 24 hours since services started, we are going to add up how much money it has made in total. So the Barton to Cleethorpes has made 214,000. The crew to Newark has made just over 1 million. Letter to Grimsby has made 500,000. The Lincoln one has just made underneath that. Liverpool to Sheffield makes just over 1 million as well. The Corby branch does 273,000, the London to Nottingham does 959,000, the Sheffield makes 5.1 million, the Newark to Lincoln makes 126,911, Nottingham to Matlock makes 478,000, Skegness makes four, uh, 742,000, the Worksop one makes 577,000, Peterborough to Doncaster makes 521,478. The Peterborough to Lincoln makes 423,734. And the Sheffield to Norwich makes 1,779,000. Sorry, 779,694, making the total to 10,418,930. Anyways, that concludes it for the East Midlands Railway. It is currently sitting third for most revenue in a single day after spending 1.1 billion on the railway. Anyways, the next episode will be the Eurostar, so it's going to be a lot less costly and a lot less revenue, but we will see how that does in next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>